we have got some memorabilia. Lawrence, come with me yeah. because Thanks. unusually we have a referee. And I felt that seeing as you spent most of your rugby career talking with and to referees, oh, maybe oh, you oh. should address this man yourself. Well, absolutely. It's uh, Sean. Sean Oliver, yeah, welcome. Right. Hi. Um, obviously, I always found it a lot easier if I refereed, but as you're here, I think we uh, just talk us through a little bit about what you're refereeing week by week. It's Dorset and Wilts, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So it's sort of based, uh, I live just outside of Salisbury, so I can be travelling up to uh, nigh on Gloucester, actually, with places uh, about an hour, hour and a half away. Anyone, anyone particularly tough to referee at that level? Every scrum half. <laughs> Yeah, they do, they do like to talk a wee bit. We've got a few on this show. Um, what have you brought for us, and, and would you like to go and put it up on the wall? Yeah, I've just brought along uh, one of the Dawson Wilts referee shirts. And just before you do that, just give us an idea, if people want to become referees, mm -hmm. what, what is that process these days? Uh, you can basically, on the RFU site, if you go to um, taking part stroke referee, there's a thing there, but also there's, there's a referee society somewhere near to you. Or in most clubs, there will be a referee coordinator, and Brilliant. you can go along and see them, and they'll help you get on your way. Fantastic. We need more referees in the game. Martin, over to you. Go and put that up on the wall. Great stuff. Sir, you've attracted my attention. I feel